Hey everybody, J Stu Productions here. Today we're going to talk about green screen removal in Photoshop. This could be applied to blue screen obviously as well, but today we're going to use green. We're going to talk about the right way to do it. I've seen a lot of tutorials on YouTube about this, and this image that you see in front of you is, is usually kind of the standard type of image that you see used. This is pulled from Google. And the problem with this is this is a little bit of an unrealistic um, image. This is perfectly lit, bright, green background. And the reality of it is a lot of us don't get this perfectly lit background. A lot of us get backgrounds more like this. Okay, So this is the one that we're going to work with today. So I'm going to jump right into it. I'm going to show you exactly how to make this a near perfect removal. Okay, I'm going to start by creating a copy of that layer. This is very uneven. You've got some very dark greens over here. You've got some really blown out greens right here. But we're going to get rid of all of that. For starters down here, I guess it's up to you if you'd like to fix that. The way I would do it is I like the polygonal lasso tool. And uh, I would just uh, kind of select this area here. and uh, use the eyedropper tool to get a similar color and then and then I would just paint this in okay and you could do it for the other side but uh, okay so we're ready to go I'm gonna go up to the select folder and click color range okay now this basically means that I am going to select colors around here that I want removed. Sounds pretty simple. Now over here you have three different eyedropper tools. You have the single, you have the eyedropper with the plus, meaning that you can select more than one color. That's what we want to use because there's lots of different colors of green here. So I'm simply going to start and you'll see it removed all of this here. Um, looks like there's some here and it's not getting that hot spot. You can also click right on this image as well. Click these up here, here, and get these down here. And there. Okay, that's pretty good. You can change the fuzziness. I do not like to make the fuzziness <coughs> very high because um, it kind of lets the, the green kind of bleed in like around the hair and whatnot. So let's see where we're at. Okay. Now the next thing that I always do is I go back up to select. I go to the modify tab and I go to contract. And this will contract the outside of your image by however many pixels you want. And a good number for me is always two. And we'll just slowly crimp it in and make that line a little bit crisper. Then I can go in or back into the text and I go to refine edge. Now, there's lots of different really cool things you can do here. I don't mess with the feather because if I do, then you can obviously see what happens there. But I like to smooth out my edge just a little bit. Maybe 15 might be a little bit too much, but let's go with 10. And. I don't mess with any of that stuff. And there we go. There it is. I'm going to copy it. And I'm going to come over to my new template, which is really small, so I'm going to have to shrink it. And voila, there you have it. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to drop me a line. Otherwise, uh, all right, guys, have a good day.